I'm doing something a little bit different in this video today. I'm stepping away from all my YouTube tech and strategy, and I want to share with you some lessons that I've learned after being an entrepreneur for almost two years. So I want to share with you my top business lessons for entrepreneurs. Hey guys, my name is Trina and welcome to another episode of Just the Tips. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below because I'm uploading new videos every single week to help you create a video strategy for your business. So just a quick background, I started a job in an office right out of college. I worked in that office for almost exactly eight years before I decided I can't do this anymore. I wasn't happy, the work wasn't challenging, and so I decided even though it paid great, had great benefits, and people thought I was nuts for leaving, I left. I decided to start my own business helping people create YouTube videos. I have a master's degree in business, so I understood the business side of it, but unfortunately there is no YouTube course or YouTube major in college. And so I took it upon myself to learn everything that I could about YouTube. I took the YouTube creators courses, podcasts, read books, watched videos, just took in everything that I could. And then I started testing it on my own channel, trying strategies, trying different things to see what works on channels and what doesn't. And that's led me to here teaching you YouTube and helping you figure out how you can use YouTube in your business strategy. So let's jump into the lessons that I've learned. First, there's no easy way to grow a business. There are no shortcuts. It goes back to that cliche phrase that Rome wasn't built in a day. If someone tells you that if you buy their course or their program or you work with them, you're gonna make six figures in five weeks. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. There's no easy way to get there Building a business takes time and it doesn't happen overnight. That person that's promising you these quick results probably has been in business for quite some time to get to where they are. And so don't take the easy way out. You gotta actually work on your business. The second lesson I learned is get on video. Honestly, it builds your credibility so much faster. It makes people remember you longer and they're much more willing to refer you in Facebook groups or to other business friends who are looking for someone with your expertise. I was only in business for six months and I was already getting caught out in Facebook groups as the go-to video person. People were referring me. I was getting business by referrals and it was all because I was on video. I didn't really focus my strategy on blog posts and social media, but I was focusing on creating videos for YouTube. And since I based my entire business around video, I believe I was able to get further faster. If you wanna start getting on video, make sure you grab my channel checklist right here so you can set up your YouTube channel and start getting your business on video to see the results I saw. The third lesson that I learned is teach. Teach whatever it is you know. You're obviously an expert in some field and you're trying to build a business on something teach on that subject. Don't worry about giving away your best stuff. This definitely hurt me in the beginning. I thought I needed to keep these things to myself so that they bought from me and not give it away for free. But unfortunately, most things you can already learn on the internet or on YouTube. So if you're not giving them the tutorial or you're not teaching them how to do it, they're just gonna go somewhere else. So teach, teach freely. Ultimately, they're gonna learn that they like you and they wanna buy from you, so when you do have a course or a program, they're more likely to sign up for you even though you gave away your content for free. People end up wanting everything wrapped up in a nice little package, so instead of piecemealing all of your content together, they'll be much more willing to buy an entire package with everything listed, you know, step by step. The fourth lesson I learned is social media is overwhelming, and that you can decide to just focus on two or three platforms and it won't be the end of the world. I know if you decide you don't wanna be on Pinterest or Instagram, you struggle with FOMO, fear of missing out, but honestly, focus on a couple platforms well instead of doing all of them horribly. I definitely experienced this firsthand. Now I'm down to just focusing on Instagram, Facebook, and obviously YouTube. And what's great about these three platforms is that I will repurpose my YouTube content on my Facebook and on my Instagram. So I'm not really creating a whole heck of a lot more content, but I am able to use my content effectively on these three platforms. Lesson number five is be selective with the clients you take on. I know you can be itching to get that first client and that first paycheck, so you're ready to take anybody on, but I really learned this the hard way. You need to make sure your client and you are going to be a good fit. The first client I took on was so eager to work with me, ready to pay, signed up right away, and then things fell apart. 
I didn't really figure out where she was going with video in YouTube, and so we had our first call. She canceled the next one, didn't do any of the homework from the first call, said video wasn't working for her, wanted her money back, and just drama ensued after that. So make sure you go through some type of client process to decide if you two are gonna work well together or if your services are what they really need it'll pay off. And a bonus lesson for you is to reach out to other business owners. It can get lonely sitting at your desk day in and day out by yourself, so reach out to somebody. Somebody you're following on Instagram or somebody you've ran into in Facebook groups and responded to their comments. Reach out to them. Ask them to have a coffee date, whether it's in person, on phone, or on Skype. It's just so refreshing to talk to somebody that understands what you're going through and to just socialize once in a while instead of being a hermit in your office. I would love to hear what lessons you've learned by being in business for yourself. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and click that circle subscriber button right there because next week I'll be back to sharing tips and strategies on how to use YouTube and your business strategy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.